Praise you, Abba. You are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever. Endeavor is your faithfulness. Praise you, Abba. Father, the strong one of this house, you are good. Your grace and your mercy endure forever. Endeavor is your faithfulness. Isaiah, 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 Isaiah. Yeshiyahu, Isaiah, chapter 5. We're in these woes right now, right? We're in these woes. Whoa. 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 Right? Whoa. Whoa. We'll, we'll go back over this. We'll pick it up right here. Verse 18. And I know all about this. Oh, so well. As I stated before, trying not to do this right now, even in my own life, daily. Woe to those who begin pulling at transgression. Hmm, let's, let's, let's get in. Let's make sure we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Woe to those who begin pulling at transgression with a thread, but ending, but end by dragging sin along as if it were a cart rope. We begin pulling a thread, but then we end up with a rope. We begin we begin pulling, but then we end up dragging sin along. Starts with the transgression, then it's sin. From pulling to dragging, from a thread to a rope, from transgression to playing out sin. And what do these people say? These bogus people, Israel, right? Right? And what do they say? They say we want God to speed up his work to hurry it along. So we can see it. We want the Holy One of Israel's plan to come to right now so we can be sure of it. So faithless, right? They want to see it, but something you can see is not faith. What did you say? What, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it is written? So, uh, 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 why should we hope for something we can see? So it's not faith if you can see it. It's not trust if you can see it. And we want to know it's the truth. Mm -hmm. We want to see it to be sure of it. That's so faithless. Let's continue. Woe to those. Right, right, right. And what do they do? Woe. 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 Let's back up a little bit real quick. I love this right here. This is just for me. Woe to those who get up early to pursue intoxicating liquor, who stay up late at night until wine inflames them. And they have lutes and lyres and drums and flutes and wine at their parties. But they pay no attention to how y'all works. They pay for things. Yeah, they do. They pay for lutes and drums and flutes and wine at their parties, but they pay no attention. So therefore, woe to them. Woe to those. Let's continue. And what do these people do? Look at that. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who turns darkness into light and light into darkness, who turns bitter into sweet and sweet into bitter. Wow. Let's pause in silence right there. As you examine yourself, as I examine myself, put myself up against this, put yourself up against this. Is this you? Silence. Reflect. Like, this is a woe, of course, off top, right? Like, we all know what that is, right? Like, we done did this. We done experienced this. We look to the evil man next to us like, woe to those who call evil good and good evil. And what do these people do? They change darkness into light by calling the evil good. And they change light into darkness. We're calling good evil. Woe to them. And what they do, they change bitter into sweet. Sweet into bitter. Like I know what it's like. I know what it's like by having like, okay, I'm a man, right? So let's, we've done this as men to women, right? You have a girl and she's actually a, 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 a good girl. Mm-hmm. But after you get done with her, after I got done with her, uh -huh, she was evil. 
Mm-hmm. Meeting people, leading people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That had light. And once they get done with our lives, we done turned them into darkness because of our sin. Mm-hmm. They were sweet. After we got done with them, they were bitter. And then the people that are bitter, the things that are bitter, we try to make it sound sweet. The things that are dark, things that are dark, the things that are destroying us, we keep on bringing into the light and walking in it like it's light. Woe to us. Woe to us. Verse 21, chapter 5. Isaiah. Yes, Yahoo. Isaiah. 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 Woe to those seeing themselves as wide. Esteem of themselves as clever. Right? These people right here, they think they're slick. They think that's wise. They think that's clever. They think that's clever to be like, hey, look, uh, we want to know, we want to be sure of his work. So we want it to come true right now. They think that's clever. They think that's wise. They think that's clever. Verse 22. Woe to those who are, and what, <laughs> look at this, man. <clears throat> Woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine. Back up. Woe to those who get up early to pursue intoxicating liquor. <laughs> Woe to those who are heroes at drinking. Yeah, are you a hero at drinking wine? <clears throat> now, me personally, I was never a hero at drinking wine, but I was sure was a was a hero at getting high. Facts. Norma Cape. Norma Cape. Captain Cocaine. Right. 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 Who? Woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine. Men whose power goes to mixing strong drinks like I know about that. I know about my power going into mixing, not strong drinks. But we understand that when it comes to cocaine, when it comes to other drugs, right? You, you know what it is to get to the stove. You mixing on the pot, right? Baking the cake, right? Mixing strong stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's where your power going. Who are quick, guilty for bribes. But deny justice to the righteous. But deny justice to the righteous. And what happens? Therefore, a fire licks up the stubble and the shaft is consuming the flame. So their root will rot. So their root will rot. Your root will rot. And their flowers scatter like dust because they have rejected the Torah. They have rejected the Torah. Mm -hmm. The Torah of the Lord of the Armies, the Lord of Hosts, the Lord of the Armies. They have despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. So these people, okay, check this out. These people have rejected the Torah. They despise the word and don't care about being holy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because what they're doing, they heroes are drinking wine. They power go to mixing up stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They get up early to pursue intoxicating liquor and stay up night until the wine inflames them. And they be partying, y'all. And they part, they pay for things. They pay for parties, but they don't pay no attention to y'all. Here it is again. They don't pay attention. How they not paying attention? Because they have rejected the Torah. This right here, the Lord of the armies, the Lord of hosts. That's the boss of the armies, man. When he, when, when he said Lord of the hosts, the Lord of the armies, he talking about warfare, yo. He's finna get you. That's why he's talking about this. Therefore, a fire is lit up in the stubble and the shaft is consuming the flame so their root will rot and their flowers scatter like dust because they have rejected the Torah. They paid no attention to the Torah mm -hmm, of the Lord of the armies, of the boss. They have rejected. They have despised his word. The Holy One, they didn't pay attention to the Holy One. This is why what? This is why Yahweh's anger is blazed up against his who people? No, no, no. It ain't the white man. His anger blazed up against homeboy. Get off that. This is why Yahweh's anger is blazed up against his people. Why he stretched? Why he stretched out his hand against them and struck them? Right, right. Who is them? His people. Israel. For Jerusalem is ruined. Jerusalem is ruined. 
Moreover, Zion's women. The root of them is ruined. And why they ruined? Because of their words and the deeds defy God. In open provocation of all. Oh, I'm sorry, we had to back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. They are they're very look witnesses against them. And who are you talking to? He are talking to the guides that lead you astray. Mm -hmm. And their wives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woe to them, woe to them, woe to them. Cause what they doing? They, 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 they stay up late at night to wine and flames and they be partying, paying for party, but not paying attention, not paying attention to the Torah. And this is why Yahweh angered bathed up against his people, why he stretched out his hand against them and struck them so hard that the hills shook and the corpus lay like trash in the street. Even after all of this, his anger remains. His upraised hand still threatens. Let's pause right there. Even after all this, his anger remains. His upraised hand still threatens. Now, now look. Now we all know the we all know the picture of that, right? Of a person upraised hands that still threaten you. Just like somebody trying to punk you out, you trying to punk somebody out, or, or, your, or your mom or your parent got the hand in the air at the store, at the grocery store. Like, you, you know she really don't want to slap you in the face at the grocery store, right? Because it's going to embarrass her, right? Right, right? But she still, but what she do when you get on her nerves, right? She'll put her hand in the air, though, right? Like, she finna hit you. She don't want you because she don't want to get embarrassed herself at the store. But her hand's so finna go up in the air if you don't quit messing around while you're in the aisle. Quit playing around with the cart. Quit hitting my foot with the cart, right? You do what you do what in the store. You put your hand up. You ain't hit him. But your anger remains. And your upraised hand is threatening. So this is what's happening with us. This is what you're doing with us. After all this. After all of this. After him correcting us. After him uh, uh, um, letting us know how we've done things wrong. Now this is the fifth chapter of Isaiah. And I'm going to say at least five times already. Maybe six or seven already. He's already corrected them and then blessed them a little bit by giving them a chance to return and then corrected them and then destroyed them, gave them a chance to return. Like, even after all this, though, his anger remains. His upraised hand still threatens. He still got his hand on ready to smack us. Shalom. Let those who have ears, hears.